Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can install Cypress on your Windows machine. So, let's begin. So, how to install Cypress? Okay, in order to install Cypress, we need two things first. First, we need Node.js because Cypress is Node based application. And secondly, what we need is that we need any IDE so that we can write our Cypress scripts. So here in this scenario, we would be using Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code. Okay. So before we install Cypress, we need both Node.js and some IDE to work. Right. So go to the browser now and type download node.js okay and you need to go to the first link here click on this one and as per your operating system you need to choose between windows mac and source code so obviously if you are using windows just like i'm using windows so i would be choosing between any of these like windows then mac if you're using mac then if you are using linux so you you need to choose accordingly as per your operating system so as we are using windows so by default it is suggesting me to download this one so i have already uh, installed downloaded the installer on my machine so i'm just canceling this one here and let me go to my directory here in my system in my softwares so this is the file you will get installer and you just need to click on this one click on run and this pop-up will appear here click on next click on accept terms and condition next don't change the path if you want you can but i would recommend that you should follow the default configurations here click on next then next and next and then stall so now it will stall node.js on my machine so once it will copy what we also need to do is that just click on finish and now once it's downloaded now we need to set the environment path for node so go to the environment variables and first you need to do is that you need to create a system variable here which is node underscore home and you need to provide the node path here okay so if i go here in my c drive so in my users so not users actually so in program files and in program files you will find node here let me see program files yeah so here it is node and this is the main path so you need to copy the path where it, it will get installed and you need to copy this path and you need to provide uh, this path in environment variables and just, just go to the environment variables here you need to create node underscore home and provide the path and secondly what you need to do is that go to the path here and click on edit and you need to provide the same thing here as well click ok click ok and ok now before uh, you know we need to confirm that either node is installed successfully on our machines or not so for that we will be opening our terminal here and in terminal we need to type node dash v so it says node is not verified term okay no problem we will write npm dash v so it again says that it doesn't recognize so let me close this one ideally it should let me open the command prompt and let me type node dash v here so you can see that there might be some problem with my fluent terminal but here you can see that we are getting the version of the node and if you are getting the node version here this means that the node has been installed properly and similarly you can check with npm-v and 
npm is basically node package manager and you will see the version here so if you see the versions here this means that node is properly installed and configured on your windows machine now second thing what we need is that we need a Visual studio code and for that we will type download visual studio code here and you need to go to this website here and here again you need to choose um, between which version you want if you are using debian if you're using mac if you're using windows so you need to choose accordingly so you need to click on if you are using windows just click on this one so it will start downloading and you will get similar file here so i have already downloaded this file let me cancel this one let me go to my tools and software drive here and this is what you will get at the end of the day just click on this one click run and now it will start you know installing the visual code on your machine again i would recommend that go with the default options which are being suggested by the installer so go next next and install so in this way you you will be able to install the visual studio code now you would have node which is a prerequisite for you know installing the cypress and then we have you know visual studio code you here you can see that uh, this is one of the soft cypress which we installed previously you can see all the data so don't worry about this thing how we can get into these things here and how we can install the cypress so for that uh, we need to minimize this visual code here and what we need to do is that we need to create a folder here on the desktop and you can create anywhere if you want so I'm just getting a folder here is Cypress install okay. and this is a folder you need to open this folder from here from the Visual Studio code so go open folder and go to the desktop and go to this folder select this folder and you will be here in this area in this way okay now uh, what we need to do is that we need to go to the terminal click on new terminal here so this terminal will be open inside that particular folder so first thing is that uh, we need to you know initialize the npm npm is node package manager so first we need to initialize that one so and let me show you on the cypress website as well so let me go to the cypress.io and let's go to the documentation here documentation and getting started and in getting started mm, let me click on this one so installing cypress here and you can see that there are some minimum requirements like node 12 or above so if you are using older versions so you should you know upgrade your node so that you can run cypress properly uh, let me show you some installation process here so npm install then npm install cypress dash dash that so basically it's just a node package cypress is a node package and npm is a node package manager through which you can install the cypress so first we need to initialize and then we will using the simple command and again you can see that how we can run on the different docker images and how you can install this on ubuntu sent os linux so these all are available here and besides npm what you can do is that you can also use yarn as uh, as a package manager and you can use yarn to install the cypress dependencies so but we would be using npm install and before that what we need to do is that we will be writing npm init dash y so what it will do is that it will create a package and y means i'm giving yes to all the things here 
because it will create a package.json file and it provided the values by default. So if I don't provide dash y in the command, so you need to provide all this information as per your requirement. Now uh, we have initialized the package and after that what we need to do is that we need to install the Cypress. So I'm just copying this from here. So we are saying that um, we are asking uh, npm to install Cypress and we are you know installing the dev dependency from here. So just go here and we need to provide this one and press enter and that's that's what you need to do. This is a simple npm command we can use and we can install the Cypress successfully. So it will copy some files here and it will take some time. So I'm uh, pausing the, the recording here and once it will be completed, we will be resuming from here. Now you can see that uh, all 165 packages has been added and you know you can see that 27 packages are looking for funding so this means that now the Cypress is installed so how you can verify that so in case of uh, here you need to go to the explorer here you will find node underscore modules so you need to click on this one and you will see that here you will find add Cypress then if you go to dot bin then again you will see that the Cypress commands here and also if you click on package.json here in package.json you will find this cypress 9.6.0 and initially if you scroll here in the terminal you, you see that the initial package.json doesn't have any kind of a dependency so it has little license and some name index.json is the mean so, so these things were there However, after installing the Cypress, you will get the dev dependencies here in, in this package.json. Now, your Cypress is installed. How you can run the Cypress? So, what you need to do is that you need to type npx cypress open. And once I will execute this command, so npx is node package execution. So I want to execute this Cypress package. And this, what this package will do, it will open the Cypress. And when I click enter here, what you need to do is that it says that it looks like this is your first time using the Cypress, this one. And it will open a separate window and we'll see what that window is and then we will see what other things we will get in the Cypress. So it will take some time to open but because it is executing the things on the back end side it is verifying and now it's opening. So this is uh, the window it will open and if you see that after opening this window we got a one Cypress folder here as well and let me minimize this window as of now we will discuss what this window is and why we need to use this window but before that um, as I open the Cypress I got these folders so if I click on this folder then we have multiple folders here and we will discuss about this folder structure as we move in these tutorials but as of now uh, just understand that if you want to write any test scripts you will be writing those scripts under the integration folder so click on this one and you will see these are two further folders available here and against each one we have different test cases so what Cypress is do is that they provide you a simple, uh, you know, test cases for you so that you can quickly start learning the Cypress commands and how you can perform different things in the Cypress. For example, if you want to know about the assertions, how you, you can apply the assertions, you can open this uh, .js file and you will see. So right now, you might not be able to under understand much of this file but as we go 
forward in this tutorial sessions you will learn about these things very easily but they have provided these things furthermore now they these are properly created test cases and if you want to see how we can run this and how this will look like just click on cypress here and through this cypress window and now let me open this you, you need to just click on any of the test case and it will start executing so let me click on this one and it will ask allow and let me show you so it will start right now because we have selected the firefox here and you know you will see that the execution is quite fast here they you know they are typing very quickly they are executing very quickly because javascript is you know executing cypress is sitting on this browser and they have a very good control over the dom and all the things so that's why the execution is quite fast and you can see that here on the left side we have different actions uh, type focus blur clear so we have different things how we can click how we can double click how we can right click so all examples are there uh, in terms of different actions and the whole test case got completed there were 14 test cases and all got, all are got executed successfully so if you want to run this on any other browser uh, so you can do that so here I will click on stop here and you will see that we can run on different browsers available on our operating system so that's all of now uh, in terms of installing and running the Cypress uh, in the next tutorials we will start writing the test cases and how we can automate different things we will go step by step in this series of tutorial thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial